सो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन एंड आई होप यू आर एन्जॉइंग योर ऑनलाइन क्लासेज ऑन एट मोडो दैट इज हैपनिंग एवरी डे सो वी वर डूइंग द चैप्टर एनिमल्स एंड टूडे इज टॉपिक इज टाइप्स ऑफ एनिमल्स अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर बॉडी टेम्परेचर सो देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ एनिमल्स अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर बॉडी टेम्परेचर वॉम ब्लडेड एनिमल्स एंड कोल्ड ब्लडेड एनिमल्स सो कैन एनी बडी गेस दैट वी ह्यूमन बींग्स आर वी कोल्ड ब्लडेड एनिमल्स और वॉम ब्लडेड एनिमल्स so you will find out uh, at the end of this presentation let us start so these are few examples of cold blooded animals alligators fishes frog lizard snake crocodile so uh, we must have seen at the time of winters we are not able to see our wall lizard lizard that is there and on our walls during summers just disappear somewhere during the winters why does that happen and you must have seen that these frogs alligators and crocodiles whenever we go to zoo they are basking in the sun they are sitting in the sun and soaking in the sun rays why is that happening and the fishes during the time of summers they are uh, they are swimming in the water at different level and at the time of winters they are swimming in the water at different level why is that happening and the snake also snake at during the time of uh, when we have or afternoon going on when the sun is directly on their head the uh, snakes just burrow and go inside the sand why does that happen so there is a answer to all these questions the answer is they all are cold blooded animals these animals that change their body temperature according to the outside temperature are cold blooded animals so that is why they are not able to regulate their body temperatures so their temperature decreases when it is cold outside and their temperature increases when it is hot outside so that is why their outside temperature will always be equal to their body temperature that is why children these animals they have no other option but to go in hibernation during the winters that is why all lizard or frogs and many of our animals reptiles they have to go for hibernation or winter sleep and during the time of summers if it is very very hot then also they have to go for estivation or summer sleep so this was about our cold blooded animals they have uh, several other ways to maintain their body they have several other ways to soak the heat from outside environment but the problem is they only are dependent on the outside environment to maintain their body temperature they themselves cannot regulate their temperature at all all right so there is one similarity that we see in all these cold blooded animals and that is they either come in the category of reptiles amphibians like the frog insects like the snail and bird uh, and uh, sorry fish like the fish we had earlier so we have two types of animals left those are mammals and birds mammals and birds come under the category of warm blooded animals elephants dog whale human eagle cat these all are warm blooded animals all right children so now you know that we are warm blooded animals so animals that have a constant body temperature that does not vary with the outside environment are warm blooded animals they have the special power to regulate their body temperature and how are they doing that is they take in food and because of the food that they take in the metabolism they are able to produce body heat this body heat provides them the insulation that is why their outside temperature will not be equal to their body temperature so they have several ways of maintaining their body temperature firstly the skin that they have is covered with hair or fur as you see in this dog as you see in, in this cat even the uh, birds they have feathers on their body so all these fur feathers or hair they provide them insulation that is why their body temperature remains maintained so they don't feel very very cold or very very hot you must have seen that dogs they pant in summers their tongue come outside and they are just panting breathing very heavily <gasps> so the reason the dogs pant in summers is because the dog is feeling very hot and when he is just uh, putting his tongue out he is getting the tongue 
heat the heat of his tongue evaporates into the environment and he feels better so what will happen when it is very hot outside and i switch on all the fans and acs and everything what will happen to you you will start sweating we all will start sweating and that is one mechanism by which warm blooded animals maintain their body temperature once the sweat comes out and because it is water droplets when they will evaporate this evaporation process will take away all your body heat away from your body and your body temperature will remain maintained to 37 degrees celsius and when it is very very cold outside let us say you go to kashmir and you are not wearing a sweater then what will happen you will start shivering shivering children is a form of shivering is a form of exercise when we do exercise our body becomes warm blood flow becomes faster and you get heat so that this is how warm blooded animals are able to maintain their body temperatures and that is the reason children when you feel uh, when you have fever when you get fever your mother gets very very upset or she becomes very very sad the reason is for warm blooded animals their body temperature must remain normal which is 37 degrees celsius for in the case of humans if the temperature goes above 37 degrees celsius which happens in the case of fever or viral infection then also this is a, it's a problem and if it goes below 37 then also it means there's some disease or some variation in the body so all right children there are few more examples of warm blooded animal your rats mongoose rabbit dolphin bat cow baboon so there is one similarity between all these animals that we can see all mammals and all birds will come under the category of warm blooded animals so thank you children i hope you enjoyed the video keep studying keep learning and there's a assignment which is going to follow after this presentation to that assignment in your previous notes